I want to say a massive, massive, sarcastic thank you to Yaya Toure for choosing the game against Crystal Palace to return to the Man City team and single-handedly win a game. Couldn't possibly have waited one more game to make up with Guardiola, could you? Of course not. Crystal Palace are now the worst performing professional football team in England. This year they've picked up an average of 0 0.71 points. That's worse than York City and Dagenham. And if you haven't heard of them, that's the point. A couple of Crystal Palace players have been driving Mini Coopers into work recently. I'd like to think it's football banter, but chances are they're preparing for the worst. Juan Mata got a yellow card for hugging. And I can't help but think there was an ulterior motive for it, perhaps sparked by jealousy. I mean, it's Juan Mata. He is one of the most intelligent, successful, beautiful footballers in the league. And he just scored against Arsenal. Hmm, Andre Mariner. You're not an Arsenal fan, are you? Obviously not, because if he was an Arsenal fan, he'd know the difference between Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Kieran Gibbs. Remember that? After the Arsenal game, Jose Mourinho revealed that he had a phone call with none other than Diego Maradona. Imagine eavesdropping in on that phone call. It seems like everyone's keen to have a dig at Mourinho this week. First of all, Antonio Conte has been questioning why Mourinho consistently overlooked Victor Moses, especially now that he's a mainstay in the midfield at Chelsea. And then, Daily Blind actually came out and said that Jose was similar to Louis van Gaal. <gasps> the cheek. I'm sure Daily meant it as a compliment to someone. It's fine though, because Jose just bottles it all up and then lets it all out on Arsene Wenger at press conferences. Or maybe he uses Maradona as a therapist. Is it just me or does this new kickoff thing still feel really uncomfortable? I mean, why change football? It's completely pointless. Leave football alone. Next up, Man United have the challenge of West Ham. Although they don't seem like much of a challenge this season. Apart from Mikel Antonio's head, he scored 11 headers. He's hit the record of Tim Cahill and he'll break that record with just one more header. So watch out for that head, United. Ryan Giggs still hasn't got a management job and he's starting to get desperate. His words were, should we say, subtle. I'll take anything. Premier League, Championship, League One, anything. In other news, Giggs' former opponent Steven Gerrard has retired from playing and got a management job straight away. The Stadium of Light didn't actually feel like it when the floodlights failed during Sunderland v Hull last weekend. There's only one thing to blame for that. Brexit. Since visiting their local car factory, Sunderland have been flying and David Moyes has kept his job, thanks in large part to Victor Anachebe. He said Anachebe just needed to feel the love. So it's clear now, give him love and he'll give you goals. <coughs> that was bollocks, wait there. Sunderland face Liverpool at Anfield this weekend and as long as the floodlights do a better job in Merseyside, it'll be live on 11+. I'm done.